Hi guys, uh, this is a special segment of Getting Candid with Helen and I'm joined by two beautiful ladies, Mocha and Sophie, actors. Yes, we can call you actors, right? Yes. Yes, they're actors. Yes. But uh, here's the thing, film industry in Zambia has been growing. From TV shows, from movies, we have been impressed and we see everything, all angles from the storylines to the picture to the sound. I think we have to give them a hand. So they are here to talk about a new premiere, a new movie that will be premiering on 4th of December, mm -hmm. Girls to Ladies. 5th? 5th December, Girls to Ladies. Hi ladies. Hi. Hi Girls to Ladies, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having us. Thank you so much for coming. So firstly, you are premiering a movie 5th December, just tell us what the movie is about. Okay, um, the movie Girls to Ladies encompasses a lot of uh, topics under one umbrella. One topic that stands out among uh, the rest is um, drug abuse in schools. But the movie also speaks out on bullying, it speaks out on uh, peer pressure and sexual abuse among other things. Okay. It follows the lives of these um, four young girls who come from different uh, backgrounds, different families. The one thing they share in common is that they've been cast out because they're notorious, because their families can't handle them anymore, mm -hmm. and so they send them to a boarding school. One of the girls, uh, particularly Kawembe, uh, Kawembe Benaya, has suffered abuse in the hands of her stepfather. Okay. But we see a woman make a very selfish decision by choosing her husband instead of her own daughter. Oh, wow. So she forces her daughter to go to a boarding school. And in this boarding school, she feels she's finally going to find some freedom away from the abuse at home. But she gets the shock of her life because this school actually has so many vices that are going on and she somehow just finds herself entangled in everything. Okay, that, that sounds... What role are you playing? I play Karen, who is the head girl and ring leader. Okay, <laughs> and Moka, what role are you playing? I, I play Trina, who is more like the opposition to yeah. the bullies, because Karen and the rest of the girls are bullies. So yeah. they're bullying, they're, they have this drug syndicate in school and they're bullying all the other girls. So for my role, I'm trying to like stand up for the other people so that they can... But they can uh, I want to find out this, Moka, is this, is this something that you have... You, personally experienced this in school like did you ever yes. experience that? um for me i grew up at girls schools like i went to Nsaka girls i went to kablonga girls high school so even during the shooting i could really relate to what was happening yeah. uh, i've been a victim of bullying before especially during my junior secondary school and, and you, you also know, became a bully no I <laughs> that's the good part i never became a bully because i knew how it felt to be bullied like it takes away so much and bullies you know they don't think of that when they are young they feel like ah, you can say anything to anyone but it really has a lasting effect and even when I went to high school when I went to high school that's when I was a bit happening you know what I mean? <laughs> At least. <laughs> but then I told myself you know what I'm not going to let anyone stand uh, against me and I even used to help you know I used to help people who are being bullied because I knew that I've been there and those are the things that even as parents we need to instill in our children that be good to everyone you don't know at the end of the day what impact you're having on that person's life there are people that have lost self-esteem from the time they were bullied in their primary secondary school up to adulthood they just feel less of themselves so those are the effects that um, are being shown in the movie and I think it's a wake up call for a lot of people, especially parents, teachers, to see that bullying really has a lasting effect on, on people's lives. Okay, uh, why, sh why do you think it's important? Because I think this movie is just, it's for everyone, from the pupils themselves, the young people and the parents, because uh, sometimes, like you're saying, you, there's a story where this child came from not, not so good home, a broken home, Obviously, sometimes that breaks you and you want to take it on other people. Why, why would you encourage both the young and the parents to watch this movie? Um, I think, uh, just like you said, um, the movie speaks out to everyone. Uh, these are global topics that we're talking about. Yeah. Drug abuse is a global topic. Peer pressure is a global, to uh, a global topic. Uh, bullying is a global topic. These are things that, especially when it comes to drug abuse, because you'll be shocked when... I recently visited uh, Mr. Rosa Siotampo's Rehabilitation Center in yeah. Park. I was amazed at the realization that the youngest, um, the youngest person that they have there is only 15 years old. And you would wonder, and this person is actually addicted on different stuff. It's not just tobacco, it's cocaine, it's a lot of things. And you would wonder, where are they getting these substances yeah. from? Okay? So it's very important that both the young and old get to see this movie so that we can make sound and informed decisions because sometimes 
a decision to pick up a cigarette and smoke it is mine. It, peer pressure can be there, a friend can introduce me to the vice, but I still have to make that decision at the end of the day. So we need to do a lot of sensitization so that even when they come across, because as parents and as teachers, we can't always be there. There are times when the kids are just there on their own, they go out, uh, sneak out to the back of the school. You won't know what they're doing. But if you start to groom them so that they're able to make sound decisions on their own, even when they come across uh, a situation where they need to say no, they'll say no because they know the consequences of um, what certain actions are going to do for them. Nice. Okay, just uh, how can one attend the premiere? Where is it going to be? How much are the tickets? Just give us the details. Uh, the premiere is on the 5th of December at Star Chemical Monday Hill. It will be starting at 18 hours. That's the red carpet. The movie itself will start showing at uh, 19.30. So we have tickets available. You can contact 0976991814. That's 0976991814 for your tickets. We've got ordinary tickets, which are going for 150 kwacha. And we have VIP tickets, which are almost full, <laughs> that are going for 250. Nice. So guys, let's turn up, let's support, you can buy the ticket, buy the tickets, let's support the industry, we need to grow together. Thank you so much ladies for coming. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> From me, your girl Helens, bye bye. Awakashana, mkute moku pepolu wangula, nobu pulu mshipasukulu, umunavo afwa. Stepfather said it's a very good school. Hmm, I don't think that's a good idea. So go and I'm on our school and change the job one day. But my drugs are being banned from school. If you so much as cough, go God. If you cough at assembly, I will end you. Mommy, I'm going to Monday. I can never bring my daughter here. Inkama ya isa tuli kira kumalushi idioba kula. Plead not guilty. My name is Kawame Benaya, a Catholic nun. I know you're asking yourself of how we got here. Well, sometimes even crying is just a sheer waste of time. Come on, feel my warmth. I'm a police officer now. Dr. Kate. And Karen is one of my best lawyers. Sister Kawame, you have visitors. But who could be doing this, eh? I don't know. And suddenly, your old schoolmates are coming. My guards are telling me you have something to do with it. Look, she could have undug herself or woke up from the grave covered with soil and decided to take revenge. Seven years later. She did not announce herself, Your Honor. Objection, Your Honor. Sustained. We will stick together until we resolve this problem. Just like before. No contact. Is any mutambe girls to ladies?